Well, uh, we have another question here, question five. Uh, the question says, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the graph of g of x is given by a to the power of x is drawn in the sketch below. The point S lies on G. T is the y-intercept of G, okay? Now, um, uh, question 5.1, <coughs> as you can see it over here, uh, question 5.1 says, um, uh, write down uh, the coordinate of T, okay? So I'm right here, question 5.1. Uh, we're looking for the coordinate of T. You can see that T is um, uh, the y-intercept. It means, um, yeah, I'm right here, the coordinate of T. Okay. Um, okay. Um, this is what we are looking for. Uh, we see that T is uh, the y-intercept. It means uh, x equal to zero. So this x here is just equal to, to zero. Now, um, and then the equation is given by um, g of x. g of x is given by a to the power of x. So this means g of x is y, okay? y is a to the power of x. Now, since x is just zero, this means y will be um, a to the power of zero, right? Now, uh, you know that uh, there's a law that says uh, all the number raised to the power of uh, zero is just equal to one. Then uh, we can just say therefore, y will be equal to one. So the point here is the point one, actually zero one. It's a point zero one. So therefore, C is the point zero one. Uh, we have another question. Uh, the question the question is for question 5.2 now. The question says that calculate the value of A. Okay. Um, we have a point in um, the graph here point uh, S, the point is given by two nine. Now, uh, if you set in the coordinate of the point, we can write here five, let's just start writing by 5.2, we're looking for A, okay? So now uh, we have the point S given by two nine. So if I set in the point in the equation of G of X, so G of X that is given by A to the power of X will then become, um, uh, Remember, g of x is the same thing as just y. Let's just substitute y. Uh, so it's like y equal to uh, a to the power of x. We're going to sub in the point uh, s, which is given by 2, 9. So 9 for y and then 2 for x. So this will be equal to uh, 9 equal to a squared. OK? So. Um, this means um, this means that uh, okay I can write a squared equal nine. Now if I need to work out the value of a, okay we can square root both sides here. We square root both sides and then this this makes a will be equal to. As I use the square root because I wanted to cancel the, the power of two. The square root cancels the power of two, and then we have like a equal to three. Not exactly, but the first equal a is equal to plus minus three. But now, because our exponents, uh, exponential equation, that ex our exponential graph is increasing, it means uh, it has um, uh, a positive, a, a positive, um, a positive uh, um, base. So therefore, a will be equal to to three. A is just equal to three. Okay. Um, um, and another question is here is a question uh, 5.3. The question says that the graph of H is originated by reflecting G in the Y axis. Write down the equation of H. All right. Um, okay. Um, so in other words, uh, we are going to, it is this graph. In other words, reflecting towards the Y axis, it means the same graph, but shifted like, like this. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be like this graph. Okay, I'm just trying to, yes, this graph. This is the graph of, uh, 
uh, g reflected to the y axis, which is the graph of h, as the question says. Now, uh, this uh, this is possible if um, algebraically it means it means this way because, like, I'm right here, question five point three. Five point three. Uh, uh, we need to find h. Okay. Now, uh, previously, we find that uh, our function, the base of our function was 3, and then the function exponent was x. So reflected towards uh, the y-axis, it means we are going to make y equal to 3 to the power of uh, negative x. OK? So this, we can leave it like that, or we can write it like y will be equal to 1 over 3. Uh, to the power of x, like that. It can be this. So it's this one. You can write it this way, or you can write it the other way. Okay. Um, the next question is uh, question 5.4. Um, uh, the question says, um, the question says, <laughs> excuse me, I write down uh, the values of x for which um, uh, for which uh, log of x base three is in between zero and one. In other words, for which zero is less than log of x base three, and then lesser than one. Wow, quite interesting. Quite interesting. What can we do here then? Um, Okay, I can just do it underneath here. Um, um, just do it over here. Now we have like uh, zero lesser than log of x base three lesser than one. Now, if I need to find the value of x, what can I do? Remember the law of logs says that a log of a base b equal to x implies that uh, a equal to b to the x. Okay, so we can apply the same, uh, the same formula over here. So this is like uh, three to the power of zero. Okay, the base here, the base like b to the power of x, b to the power of x. So three, the base, to the power of zero. So this is like uh, three to the power of zero, lesser than x, okay, lesser than, and then over on, on the right hand side, three to the power of one three to the power of one, okay? I'll go over it again, because I know it's a, bit, a little bit tricky, but it's not that, that hard. Just follow this formula. Okay, log of A base B equal X simply means that uh, A, A equal to B to the power of X. Now see my A is here, okay? So now here my A will be X. So log of X base three. So applying this formula, I will have like three, the base to the power of zero because b, b to the power of x, b to the power of x. So the base three to the power of zero on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, it's gonna be like the base again, three to the power of one, okay? b to the power of x. So three to the power of one on the right hand side. Now in between here, this is just the value of x because it's a equal to. Here we have an inequality instead of equal, equal sign. So my a is x. Okay, a is x, so, and then uh, three to the power of zero, this is just one, lesser than x, lesser than uh, three. You can write it this way, it's a solution. Or we can also use uh, other laws of exponent, but I know you don't really do those deep, uh, I mean, extended law of exponent in grade 12, not much, but you can, um, I used to do that, okay? Uh, we can write, um, mm, no, I don't wanna, okay, we just stop here. Let's just stop here. Uh, thank you. Um, I had a feeling like someone want, that, want me to do it anyway. Uh, maybe let's just do it. Okay, when we have like, zero logs x of base three like that, and then less than one, uh, uh, we can write, we can write still three, okay, to the power of zero, lesser than, okay, 
three. I want to write them all with the same base, the base of the logs here. So I'm going to say three to the power of zero, three to the power of uh, log of x base three, less than three to the power of one. Now, uh, the, one of the law of exponents says that uh, if you have like a to the power of log of x, this is just equal to x, okay? So in this situation, we can just say uh, three to the power zero, we know that's one, less than uh, th uh, three to the power of x, regardless of the base, the answer is still gonna be x, so it's gonna be x here. And then this is equal to less than three. So the same solution we get there. Thank you.